AK and iron sights. Let's have an honest conversation about the iron sights on AK. For some reason, the AK iron sights are some sort of the mystery in the United States. So uh, let me crack that mystery. Let's work together and learn something uh, here today. Uh, guys, on any type of the AK rifle, is it the 47 type or 74, uh, you got basically a rear leaf sight, which is marked with markings up to 1000 meters starting with a so-called P position, start position or battle zero. Now you have to remember that the iron sights on AK rifles are in metric system. So what it means, for example, if I want to slide the position to the number one, which will correspond to the 100 meters, that means it's 100 meters, not 100 yards. Well, what's the big difference? The 100 meters in yards will be roughly 110 yards. The same goes in the reverse direction. If you are at the 100 yards, you have to remember that it's only around 90 meters in meters distance. So you always have to keep that in mind because I see people zeroing those rifles at 100 yards distance and then they try to work it out the slider up or down and of course the markings do not correspond with the real world distances because you, you zero at the rifle in yards not in the meters. If you want to find out the way how to zero the rifle uh, per Russian way I will post the link underneath of that video. We did that video last year. Very, very cool video to watch. But anyhow, basically uh, you move the slider and adjust for elevation. Uh, the P position or so-called battle zero on AK-47 type of the rifles will match 300 meters setting. So this is the same, it's on the same level at the P position as it is at the 300 meters uh, settings. This is different from AK-74 type. Uh, this rifle, all, they all have the P position as well, but the P position matches 400 setting and not 300 setting. And as you can see right now, the sight on the 74 type is on the same level as it was on the P setting. Question, can you swap the rear sight leaf from 74 to 47 type or from 47 to 74. Absolutely, the Russians did outstanding job and a lot of components, they could be moved around. So how is that possible that the same rear leaf sight will work on both rifles? Well, the secret is in the different shape of how those sights are traveling. So if you will compare these two rear side blocks, you will see that the cutouts here were made differently on the 74 type compared to the 47. However, if you will put the rear leaf, they will travel per their corresponding cartridge. So it will be a 7.62 by 39 on 47 type and uh, 545 by 39 on the 74 type. So yes, you can swap rear leaf, this will work. No, you shouldn't swap the rear side pose and uh, don't do any magic trying to make it happen. All right, so that's for the difference. So we know how to adjust the elevation on the rear sight leaf. As I said, you gotta either set it for 100, 200, 300. If you got them going up to 1000 meters, you can set up even for 1000 meters, but, but let's be realistic. At that point, you're probably just suppressing the area and not hitting uh, you know, precisely uh, targets. But that's pretty much it for the rear leaf uh, sight on the AK rifle. There is not a not, not lot to do with those sights in the back. So let's move front forward. This is where most of the adjustments will happen. Uh, So-called the front post on the AK rifle. And as you can see, there's nothing really sp you know, special. It's uh, basically a drum inside the front post. And now you can, by using the special tools, like this magnetic tool, you can apply the pressure and move the, the front post either left or right. 
Another uh, thing what you can do with that post is you can adjust for the, not just for the windage, but also for elevation. If you will, you can screw in the front post or unscrew the front post and this will correspond to the changes for the elevation which we'll talk about it in a second but first let's focus on uh, what to do with that uh, front post and what is happening here when you are zeroing rifle and i strongly suggest to do this at uh, the 100 meters uh, distance but when you are zeroing a rifle and you are behind the rifle and rounds are impacting on the target let's say let's say to the left from your point of aim so we are behind the rifle and my rounds are landing on the left side from my point of aim you have to push from when you look from behind the rifle you have to push the front post to the left to compensate for this what is happening on your target if your rounds would be impacting on the right side of the target on the right from point of aim then you have to move and push the front post to your right when looking from behind the rifle uh, i'm really you know stubborn about this because a lot of people get confused they think that the adjustment should be make made when they are facing the rifle from the other way no we're always talking about the adjustment when from behind the rifle looking from behind the rifle so one more time if the rounds are hitting on the left side from your point of impact you will push the front post to the left if they are impacting on the right side you will push the front post to the right now because it's very difficult uh, to be really accurate when pushing the, that drum left or right I very often use the little uh, pencil and I make the little mark here on the drum and there is usually a cutout on the front post and when I'm using my tool and moving moving the drum either to left or to right at least I got some point of reference and I can see how much I have moved the drum because sometimes those changes will be really you know in one millimeter left or right makes uh, that's enough to move that point of impact to the desire and match it with the point of aim so you can use uh, that uh, you know marker mark the the drum and then you will have a point of reference another thing to talk about it is what is happening when my rounds are landing below point of aim if your rounds are landing below point of aim and you have to move them up you have to screw in screw in the front post clockwise so by screwing the post in this will move the rounds up closer to your point of aim and what is happening when the rounds are hitting above point of aim and you have to drop them you will unscrew the post counterclockwise you will unscrew the post and this will bring the rounds down on desired point of aim now you have to understand this guys with so-called budget rifles i do not expect them to be perfectly aligned so what it means that it is possible that the sides will be canted okay this is especially if you're using a lot of wasars opups and pups the cheaper rifles you will see that those sides are not always straight so there is nothing wrong with the rifle guys if you can zero the rifle by moving the drum either left or right and it's not really in center but you can zero the rifle i would say that that's normal for the ak rifle of course more you pay for the rifle then you should you know ask for more in exchange uh, i'm expecting the rifles around thousand dollars mark to be rather straight still there are some probably adjustments required to be made even on those rifles but more or less i'm expecting when i'm paying a thousand dollars or more for the ak rifle i'm expecting that those sides will be rather straight but as i said it is perfectly normal for the ak rifle 
to have the sights canted because it's just the cosmetic value okay if you can zero the rifle and the rifle functions correctly hey that means that the rifle works and uh, it should perform to your specific you know task or desire how to correct canted sights this is a very often question well the easiest way is to knock out those two pins and then make the adjustments with moving the the front post with the mallet depends on which way they are canted however now when you are reinserting the pins you should drill those holes and use the larger pins in the front post so they will hold up to the barrel and you don't have any movement from the recoil when you are shooting the AK rifle and uh, the same pretty much goes back to the rear post very uh, not very often but sometimes I see the rear post canted as well and the rear post is twisted either left or right uh, there is a pin going through the rear side post at the bottom you can readjust it as well the rear post and make it straight but going back to my original point if you can zero the rifle with some cant I wouldn't really worry about it okay guys pretty much that's it about the iron sights one more thing about the CQB uh, very often you may hear the reference to the front post as this is the caveman EOTech uh, why the EOTech caveman EOTech because uh, as you know the EOTech has the reticle when it's one 65 MOA circle and big circle and then you got the one little circle 2 MOA or 1 MOA dot inside and if you will look at the shape of the AK uh, front post this is kind of reminds people that EOTech reticle you know you got that almost full circle and when you are shooting with uh, the front post in the CQB situation these sides are really really working awesome all you gotta do is basically paint the target with that front post close it uh, that circle on the target and from the uh, seven yards even up to ten yards distance you shouldn't have any problems hitting a man size target uh, wherever you will put that circle on so that's why these sites are sometimes called a caveman eotech that's pretty much it at this point let me know if you have any questions and i'll be more than happy to answer it about the iron sites thanks for watching